Hello civil engineers, welcome back to our channel civil engineer FBH. So our today's topic is about most economical trapezoidal section. In earlier video we have discussed about the most economical rectangular section. We have find out the condition for the most economical section of a rectangular section. So our today's topic is most economical trapezoidal section. If you are not watching the earlier video, the link will be in the description of this video. So coming to our today's a topic today's topic is we have to find out the most economical trapezoidal section here i have shown you this is the trapezoidal section and this is the side slopes these are side slopes this is the width and we have to find out the top width how we can find out the top width i will discuss here here you can see we will take this triangular section this small triangular section and i will explain here slope is 1 upon z is the slope so I will show you here this is the triangular section so 1 is to z is the slope 1 is to z slope means if you are going 1 meter in vertical direction you have to go z meters in horizontal direction always remember the numerator is vertical and denominator is horizontal if you have to go one meter in vertical direction you have to go z meters in horizontal direction for example if i will give you the example if we are going y meters in vertical direction we have to go y z meters in horizontal direction if we are going y meters in vertical direction we have to go y z meters in horizontal direction how this is possible i will show you with the example because if our ratio is 1 upon 5, if we are, our ratio is y upon, uh, 1 upon 5, for example, we have this slope here. Our ratio is 1 upon 5. If we have to go 1 meters in vertical direction, we have to go 5 meters in horizontal direction. For example, if we are going for this same ratio, if we are going 2 meters in vertical direction, we have to go 5 into 2 meters in horizontal direction. That is 10 meters in horizontal direction here similarly if we are going y meters in vertical direction we have to go y z meters in horizontal direction i hope you will understand this thing so here you can see this is the horizontal direction and this is the this is the horizontal direction and this is the vertical direction if vertical if in vertical direction we are going y so in horizontal direction we have to go y z similarly this is the vertical direction and this is the horizontal direction y that will be here so we have to find out the top width top width will be equal to b this width plus this yz plus this yz this will be the top width t is equal to b plus twice yz this yz and this yz will come out to be twice yz now our next point is next point is we have to find out this if we take uh, this as right angular triangle right angle at this point we know that by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so hypotenuse we have to find out the hypotenuse base will be yz hypotenuse square will be equal to base is yz square plus perpendicular is y square so here, here you can find out under root y square z square plus y square so we can take y square common y square z square plus 1 so here we can write y will cancel out with this root so y will come out z square plus 1 so this is the hy hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse so here we can write this hypotenuse is equal to y under root z square plus 1 so here we can write y under root 1 plus z square here also this will be y plus y into under root of 1 plus z square now what we have to do is we have to find out next we have to find out the wetted perimeter wetted perimeter will be equal to 2 times wetted perimeter will be equal to 
from this point to this point this will be the weighted parameter here from here from here to here so this will be 2 times y into 1 plus z square because 1 times this and 1 times this plus b so we have to 2 times y under root of 1 plus z square plus this b now we have to find out the area area of this trapezoid area of trapezoid we know that area of trapezoid is equal to 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance we know that perpendicular distance is y and sum of parallel sides this side and this side is parallel side so this side is t is equal to b plus twice y z so 1 by 2 sum of parallel sides one parallel side is b plus twice y z b plus twice y z plus another parallel side is b so sum of parallel sides into perpendicular distance between the two sides is y so perpendicular distance between the two sides is y so <coughs> here we can write 1 by 2 b plus b comes out to be 2b plus 2y z into y so this 2 will cancel out with these two and b plus y z into y will be our area so here i have written area will be equal to b plus z y into y so this is the area of the trapezoid weighted parameter i have already found out how we can find out the weighted parameter this plus this plus this b weighted parameter will be from here to here so <clears throat> from this area we can find out b b will be equal to a by y minus z y this is equal to area so what we have to do is we have to divide this this will be a by y is equal to b plus y z so b will be equal to a by y a by y if we take this on this side this will be minus y z so b will be equal to a by y minus y z so what we have to do is we have to put this value of b in perimeter in perimeter so perimeter will come out to be 2y under root of 1 plus z square plus b in place of b we can write a by y minus y z so this is the perimeter now what we have to do is to find the condition for the most economical uh, section of trapezoid so we have to find out dp by dy will be equal to 0 we have to find out the derivative of the perimeter this must be equal to 0 with respect to y so dp by dy will be equal to if we derive this thing derivative with respect to y will be these are the constants and derivative of y is 1 so this will come out to be twice under root of 1 plus z square plus a by y derivative of a by y will, will be equal to minus a upon y square minus derivative of y z will be equal to z is constant and derivative of y is y is 1 derivative of y is 1 so this is the derivative and this must be equal to 0 for the condition this must be equal to 0 so next is we have to take these two values on this side twice under root of 1 plus z square will be equal to this on this side will be a upon y square this minus will be on this side positive z so substituting the value of a we know that a is equal to b plus z y into y so we have to substitute this value of a here from here we can take b plus z y into y so twice under root of 1 plus z square will be equal to in place of a we will write b plus z y into y because the area is equal to this plus divided by y square plus z plus z this y and y will get cancelled out so 
twice under root of 1 plus z square will be equal to b plus z y upon y plus z. So we have to uh, cross multiply this twice under root of 1 plus z square will be equal to b plus z y plus z y upon y. So this will be equal to twice under root of 1 plus z square will be equal to b plus z y plus z y will be equal to twice y z divided by y. So what we have to do is we have we can take this y in this place and this two in this place we can write b plus twice y z upon 2 will be equal to y under root of 1 plus z square. So this is the first condition. Here you can write this is the first condition for the trapezoidal section to be most economical. Here what we have to do is b plus twice yz b plus twice yz is equal to top width so half of top width is equal to half of top, top width is equal to one of the sloping sides because sloping side is equal to y under root of 1 plus z square y under root of 1 plus z square so half of top width must be equal to one of its sloping sides so you can write Half of top width, half of top width, top width must be equal to one of its sloping sides. One of its sloping sides. Now we have to find out the next next condition will be we know that r hydraulic mean depth is equal to a upon p area upon wetted perimeter so area we know that area is equal to b plus z y into y area is equal to b plus z y into y so put it here b plus z y into y upon perimeter so perimeter here we have given the perimeter perimeter is equal to 2y under root of 1 plus z square plus b 2y under root of 1 plus z square plus b so from this condition from this condition you have to substitute 2y under root of 1 plus z square if you can relate it here b plus twice y z will be equal to if we take this 2 on this side this will be equal to twice y under root of 1 plus z square so in place of this twice y under root of 1 plus z square we can write b plus twice y z so in this place we will write b plus twice y z from first condition this is from first condition so b plus z y into y will be equal divided by in this place we will write b plus twice y z b plus twice y z plus b now we can write this b plus z y into y upon b plus b will give, give us twice b plus twice y z b plus z y into y will be equal to we have to take this two out from these we take common b plus y z so we can cancel out this b plus y z and this b plus y z so y by will be equal to R so this is the second condition this is the second condition for the trapezoidal section to be most economical here we can write it like this the hydraulic
mean depth should be equal to half of the flow of depth half of flow of flow depth so hydraulic mean depth must be equal to half of the flow depth y by 2 is y is flow depth and y by 2 is half of flow depth so hydraulic mean depth must be equal to half of the depth of flow so thank you so this is the completion of this video in this video we have discussed about the most economical trapezoidal section in our next video we will be discussing about the most economical triangular section if you like this video make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications about our about our upcoming videos thank you friends thank you for watching the video